Yeah, as far as you see is Angola. Angola State Penitentiary is huge, 18,000 acres. It's 22 miles when you come in the front gate if you drive all the way around the outside perimeter. Warden Burl Kane calls Angola a gated community, emphasis on community. And it's not just the 5,000 inmates who live here. Of his 1,500 employees, 600 of them are residents. And the warden himself lives here. We have a swimming pool down here for the kids and ballparks. And there's a post office in front of us. We're the only prison in America that's large enough to have its own post office. We feed naturally about 11,000 inmates a day because not only do we raise the vegetables for this prison, we also raise the vegetables for Dixon and Hunt and the women's prison and of oils across the river. The vegetables are farmed with mules and horses and harvested by hand. A little primitive, he says, but it works. The mules crank every morning. We don't have to worry about burning up the clutch. We don't have to buy diesel fuel. Warden Kane is very proud of his domain, a very different place from when he arrived 16 years ago. We cleaned up. We, we really changed the whole management system of it. We got accountability from the staff, and we stopped being oppressive. In the corrections means correct deviant behavior. It doesn't mean torture and torment. It doesn't mean lock and feet. He has taken those words very seriously and created what he calls moral rehabilitation. It is what he calls his greatest contribution. Morality. I'm real proud that females can walk anywhere in this prison with no whistles and cat calls. I'm real proud that we don't curse here. There's no profanity in prison. And, and that's big time. But his rehabilitation goes far beyond correcting bad language and bad manners. We want to be normal society as we can possibly be. That's not being soft, that's being right. And I'm trying to rehabilitate them. The moral rehabilitation is the only true rehabilitation. I can teach you skills and trades to read and write, but if I don't have morality with it, I just made a smarter criminal. I don't care what religion you are, I don't even care if you're in religion. I care if you're moral. He started the moral rehabilitation by first talking with prisoners and letting them talk to him. He even created a word for the open discussion, askable. And parents should be askable with their children because I wound up being a parent, what happens? And then I got to make them do everything you should have done as a parent. I got to teach them to discipline and to respect others and, and just get control of them. And it's a shame it has to be an adult. But his system has worked. Violence of all kinds in Angola has dropped over 75% since he took over. And now prison systems in other states are replicating his approach. One is energizing the coil. With numerous programs to teach prisoners trades, even art, Burl Kane calls Angola the land of new beginnings, whether a prisoner ever gets out or not. Where they can begin their life over and they're not really judged for what they did, let's judge for what we're going to do.